Well, everyone, it's a beautiful day because we're talking about Nintendo Switch 2 again, and I always get excited about this. We have some updates today on backwards compatibility and a lot of other little tidbits that we'll all timestamp down below. We got a pretty beefy video here. Before we dive into a lot of this stuff, I just want to sit here and remind you we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers. If you're enjoying all the Switch 2 videos, heck, yesterday we did a Mario and Luigi Brothership video. Yeah, I know you. Yeah, you you didn't watch that video. Look, I look, I get it. I, people here are more interested in Switch 2 or Zelda or Mario. Apparently not Mario and Luigi. Kind of sad, but you know what? We still made the video anyways, right? right? Hey, 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 I like Mario and Luigi, so... Go watch the video. That being said, uh, I want to dive more into this, and I want to start by also saying, hey, a thousand likes is what our goal is today. I, I would love to hit a thousand likes on this video. We haven't done it in a while. I think it's doable. I think we can hit in 24 hours. If it happens, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll have to celebrate tomorrow. That being said, uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into the news. Uh, and we have this little uh, post over here on Reddit saying Switch 2 has seemingly entered mass production due to Hasidin graphics. Uh, expect September news in March 2025 release. So we talked about this uh, yesterday, I believe. Uh, and and in there, it was all about uh, Hasidin is the Switch assembler and mass assembly seems to be beginning but this isn't the news that we really care about for some reason nate the hate who is an insider an industry insider and is verified over on reddit uh decided to make this comment on backwards compatibility and he said it has backwards compatibility support now saying that alone is just fascinating because having backwards compatibility support is a rather big deal but it is something that we have talked about several times on the channel uh, ph brazil has said it uh so have some other uh, outlets and sources out there have kind of been like oh yeah you know it, it's gonna have backwards compatibility and all that stuff and that's fine but you know what the funny thing is nate the hate actually said it himself back in february if you go over here to reset era where nate drake who is nate the hate uh said please be true and he says back compat is present to partners and testing is underway. The major unknown seems to be if it will uh, be extend to any such enhancements may provide. So like if they're gonna be able to have enhanced backwards compatibility and stuff like that, that seems to be what's unknown, but I still find it to be rather fascinating in general that uh, this is happening. And uh, look, backwards compatibility to me is a must have. It is traditional for Nintendo systems to have it. The Wii U had it, the 3DS had it, the Game Boy Advance had it, the DS had it. Uh, and the only systems that really didn't were like the NES and the Super Nintendo and the N64 and the GameCube because they all use completely different formats. But for ones that use similar formats, I mean, like the Wii was backwards compatible with mini discs to the GameCube. So it is actually pretty standard for Nintendo to have it. I'm really excited that we're going to get backwards compatibility, or at least that's what's being reported out there. That's what's being said. Obviously, Nintendo hasn't said anything, so nothing's confirmed until Nintendo says it. But it should just be expected at this point. It's also industry standard. PlayStation. 5 has backwards compatibility xbox series has backwards compatibility so i do expect that we're going to have backwards compatibility and that's one little check mark against the idea that they couldn't reveal the system before the holidays because game sales will not be negatively impacted if people know they buy a game today they can still play it on the next system so there is that now another interesting thing that was pointed out uh, had to do with this post over on uh, on family boards, and it comes from this user called FWB or FWD. Sorry, FWD BWD. Uh, he's one of the founders. I think they became a founder by like supporting reset era when it came out or something i don't know anyway it says here is one antidote uh supporting the idea that the august partner direct was pushed forward remember we we talked about how ph brazil said the direct was pushed forward but we never really had any public evidence that that partner direct in august that indie showcase in august those nintendo museum direct in august that any of that was meant for september we only think it was meant for september because ph brazil said as much but there's actually a little bit of evidence to suggest that this was a little bit of a I caught some people off guard uh, that has happened in August, including people that had games in the event. So it says in a recent interview with a Taiwanese press, Nihon Falcom's president, Kondo, stated that he had no idea Nintendo would choose the, that date to hold the Direct, in which the remake of Trails of the Sky was announced. I don't believe Nintendo ever informed Falcom of the Direct date, but the notice probably came very close to the broadcast, surprising Kondo. PH Brazil seems to be right that the Direct was moved away to make room for something. Now, that's essentially what ph brazil was saying he doesn't necessarily know 100 what that something is but it is fascinating that uh the 
person behind that company didn't seem to know that the direct was going to happen in August, probably because the direct was supposed to be in September. So it's a little bit of evidence that, yeah, things were moved around. Things were moved from September. And this is like the first little bit of public evidence we have of people involved in the partner direct being like, yeah, it was actually kind of a surprise to us. So that's fascinating because they announced a, a new game, a new remake in that direct. So like it affects their marketing plans. So the fact that they weren't made aware of it till seemingly really, really close, is kind of like, man, even we thought it was going to be in September. That's what Nintendo told us. So I think that is pretty interesting. Just to kind of mention that PH Brazil was just even more right uh, than he already is. And why are they clearing out September? I have no idea. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we have an interesting thing as well. If you do believe, like I do, I have a hot chip challenge on it, that the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be revealed this month. And that is Nintendo's pattern of releasing special edition systems. So this was pointed out over here by Ultra Brob, uh Ultra Borob over on Family Boards, and he says he just checked on some stuff. So, however, there's some stuff to note. The Nintendo Switch base model special editions have always released the same day as the game or one day prior. So, you know, within release window of the actual uh, game. The Nintendo Switch OLED special editions have always released two weeks prior. The Nintendo Switch Lite editions uh, have always released two weeks prior, except for Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, which is being released on the same day as the game releases. Now, you found out a bit more. Switch Lite OLED editions have always released exactly 14 days prior. So he did some research here. And then he researched on the Switch Lite special editions. And they've always released at least 14 or 7 days prior. So we're talking about those special editions. Now, the Zelda Echoes of Wisdom special edition... Uh, could have released on the 19th or the 12th, respectively, 7 and 14 days prior to the game release. Uh, now those two are the most likely dates for the reveal of the successor. This almost confirms, once again, that something is arriving on a Thursday. Now, almost confirms. It's still obviously speculation, but it is really, really neat speculation. It is something we definitely want to pay attention to uh, because, again, it is unusual. Nintendo's doing unusual things. We had three showcases in one month within two weeks. Two of them jam-packed together. Uh, now they're releasing that Zelda Switch Lite edition the same day as Echoes of Wisdom, which they've never done for any prior Switch Lite special edition. Why? Well, maybe they wanted the week or two weeks before the system to be cleared out. So again, there's a window in there next week or the week after for Nintendo to possibly be uh, revealing something. We think we know what that something is, but you know we're not 100% sure. Then we have Pierre 485 all right he's a person who tracks a lot of um sales data and, and and just spending at different companies over on twitter and he put up this interesting thing that i find to be even more fascinating so nintendo spent almost 138 billion yen or 910 million usd on research and development in the fiscal year ending march 2024 it is a record value it's the most they've ever spent and the company is forecasting another increase for the current fiscal year even if it expects sales to slow all right so the most they've ever spent in the fiscal year 2023 ending march of 2024 but here's the thing it gets even more fascinating if you look at it by calendar year so by calendar year and you're going by the, the you know the, the three quarter the four quarters in a calendar year it says in details the first of quarter 2024 saw a jump to a record 45 billion yen or 300 million in spending uh, a similar jump compared to the first quarter of 2016 when we open this up you can really see this like this was the very first three months of this year look at that massive jump and then look back to 2016 also a massive jump in that first calendar quarter and what's interesting is in quarter two of this year or the first quarter of their new fiscal year this spending is actually also higher than any prior time, uh, save obviously the first three months of this year. So what does that all mean? Well, Nintendo was doing that back in 2016. Nintendo, we know through the Giga Leak, did actually want and intend for the Nintendo Switch to launch in holiday of 2016. That is not what ended up happening. Of course, they announced in April of that year that it was going to be releasing in March of 2017. And so there is this idea that maybe all those reports on the 20. 2024 release date this holiday were actually correct and the internal delay is real just like it was back in 2016 which we factually know is real thanks to the giga leak which is unfortunate that happened to nintendo but it did verify that there was a plan to release it holiday 2016 anyways the point is that nintendo was ramping things up at a very similar time frame they did in 2016 and that led to literally a release in march of 2017 so if you're hoping for a march release 
I'm just saying this kind of backs what Nintendo what was happening at Nintendo before. Now, you'll notice, obviously, here, their spending has just been going up and going up and going up since 2020. They've been ramping up production. Obviously, there was a lot of high demand in these in these time periods. And then around 2022 is probably when you started seeing heavy investment, research and development, just to start working on their brand new systems and all of that. Plus, research and development also includes all the theme parks and stuff. So the point is that Nintendo is obviously ramping up in a lot of different ways. We have... You know, now companies essentially reporting that they're ramping up assembly, they're ramping up part production. Uh, we have all these, you know, talks from journalists yesterday where it's like, hey, we're kind of hearing Nintendo's going to do something this month. We don't know what it is, but something's happening. We have Brazil saying that, hey, Nintendo cleared out September for something, but is that something switched to? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, and I, it's just there's a lot of things stacking up. The Echoes of Wisdom stuff is kind of interesting where the Switch Lite's coming out the same day when it's always coming out a week or two earlier for prior Switch Lite special editions. Why wouldn't it do that? Well, maybe because there's something else being announced. Also, there's all these like reports out there that the PlayStation 5 Pro is being announced next week with the state of play in the final week. So that really gives Nintendo that really interesting third week of the month where it might just be all to themselves if they want to drop a Switch 2 announcement. Or maybe they just don't give a crap. They could do something real funny and let like PlayStation 5 Pro get announced and get a bunch of headlines and then like the very next day drop a Switch 2 announcement. And before you know it... Uh, Everyone's talking about the Switch 2 instead of the PlayStation 5 Pro. And I say everyone. Let's be realistic. PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be a, probably a pretty big deal this holiday, one of the hot ticket items, and it's going to be coming out this year. So it's coming a lot sooner. So it's going to get a lot more hype uh, in the near term, but I think Switch 2 will end up having more hype in the long term because, again, PlayStation 5 Pro is not a new generation. It's just, you know, a mid-gen refresh, which is totally fine. I don't mind mid-gen refreshes. In fact, we get it in the PC world all the time, right? We get, like, new CPUs and GPUs that... Don't feel like generational leaps. They're definitely like refreshes of current technology that are just a little bit better. Uh, and that's what's happening here. And you know what? It's okay as long as they price it correctly. $600, I think, is the sweet point there. Uh, but yeah, who knows? We'll see what happens. We talked about a $700 rumored price point. We'll see. I have no idea what's happening with that. But we won't have to wait long to find out. I think about either of these platforms. So, whoo! All that to say, I'm very excited for Nintendo Switch 2. If it's not revealed this month, it's all right. It might be October. Uh, or it might be by March of 2025. That's the official word from Nintendo. Let me know what you think about all this stuff down in the comments below. Do you think everything just keeps stacking up? Because it kind of feels like it is. Or do you feel like it's stacking up and there's so much proof and so much evidence that in the end, it's just all a bunch of hogwash? I don't know. You tell me. Catch you in the next video.